If you've got a phone like this iPhone 13 Pro, something like the new iPhone 14 Pro, or even an Android phone with the capabilities of producing macro shots, and you want that extra light in the scene that isn't as harsh and unnatural like the built-in flash, then with this one light edition, you can get better looking macro shots. This is a macro arm light and this one is from JJC. I'll leave the link to it in the description below. What you get with this macro arm light is the plastic main body with space for two CR2025 batteries. And for good measure, you get four of these batteries in the box. The left and right controls on each side with off, low and high light intensities for independent control of each of the two lights. A hot shoe attachment that allows the light to either be attached to a mount like I'll be showing you in this video or even a camera's hot shoe mount and then adjusted to provide a secure fitting. The twin gooseneck arms protrude about 23 centimeters or just over nine inches and are extremely flexible and should enable you to get that perfect lighting angle for your macro subject. And at their ends, they have a single LED light which uses heat free technology. So if I put the lights on, I put them on high and it provides a consistent color temperature of 56K and can last up to 50,000 hours. Because each of the lights can work independently of one another, you're able to adjust each light intensity to your scene's requirements. In the description, it says that there are five levels of adjustable lighting, but they're just a mixture of off, low and high settings on each of the lights. Together with this and my iPhone 13, the setup I'll be using is a newer phone cage which provides the hot shoe mount for the macro arm to sit on. An adaptation of this will be using a small phone mount clamp like this with a cold shoe mount just for the arm to go on top, which would allow you to have more handheld control of your phone. Let's go and use this macro arm light for some macro photography using the iPhone 13 Pro. So this is the scene for this indoor, poorly lit scene. I'm gonna take a Lego scene. Essentially, it's it's me, really. And as you can see, it's quite poorly lit. And we're probably gonna need the flash if we were just gonna use our iPhone. So this is the scene. Now let's get into the setup. So I'm just gonna take a shot with no flash and no assistance from the macro arm light. And then the next shot, I'm going to take with the flash. And then I'm going to turn the flash off for this shot. And I'm going to turn the micro lights on. I'm going to put it on low to start off with. Now I've already pre positioned the lights. And I'm going to take that shot. So, as you can see, I've got the lights there in nice positions. So I'm not having to change them every time I need to take a shot. I'll take another shot. So this was on low. And the next one I'm going to put it on high. Take a shot there. So as you can see, you can see that the, the direction of the lights on the macro arm light are, direct, are shining exactly where I need them to shine and nowhere else within the scene. So therefore exactly what I need to be lit up is lit up and if I want to take a shot where only one of the lights is on, take that shot and I can turn that light off and put another one on. So we can also use them in a position where it's not connected the camera to the phone and I can also then just use the phone that amount and obviously without I can take that and then press record then it's the same light 
Whereas if I had the light on in this video mode, it'd be following me where the camera would be rotating. So I've now got a fixed light. It's only a small light in comparison to the bigger lights. Like he's in a real film studio. So in comparison, if I was to take those away, take the shot with no flash, Take the same shot with a flash on. So that's the JJC Macro Arm Light, providing you with that useful, flexible light source for your macro photography, especially when you don't want to use the flash on your phone or even other costly forms of light like mini LED lights, compatible external flashes, or even larger light sources, which are going to take that portability away from your setup. Let me know in the comments below what you think of this macro arm light and whether it will be useful for your mobile macro photography. Thanks for watching. Make sure to like, comment and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you in the next one.